how to model one to many relationships when it comes to embedding it follows the same principle as in one to one relationships of embedding prefer embedding right here also we prefer embedding avoid large documents which is again we want to use subset pattern here also to avoid large documents use subset pattern additionally identify patterns to access this data right so we can use other patterns also other design patterns also to access this data which can be designed based upon different use cases now again subset pattern challenge it require respective application changes example handle duplicate records logic at application level so this is the biggest constraint with subset pattern where we should use one to many relationships using referencing again where embedding may not fit all the scenarios right so it might be happen that we have books collection as well as publisher also so when we are going to store publisher information inside a book information that is not possible that may not be possible right so in this scenario publisher information is getting repeated across the books right one publisher may have published so many books so that way the embedding may not be feasible in this kind of scenario right we cannot we cannot embed publisher information in the book because it will be difficult to imagine updating this information when it comes to updating publisher information because that will be so problematic or so performance consuming that it will be write intensive job and we cannot think of storing book information inside publisher because that publisher might have published thousands of books embedding will not be possible in that case also and moreover that will lead to performance issues in both these scenarios if we embed publisher information into books information or books information into publisher information both of these are not feasible in this case in this case use referencing refer id either as array or some other possible way which i am going to show you approach one store books information in the publisher collection we can have publisher collection and inside that we can store books id in that that this publisher has published these many books approach to store publisher id in the books collection right so this approach again it will depend now a question for you which approach do you think will work and why